Good Morning Friends. Welcome to the Good Mornings with Nicole and Prax show. Each week, we share inspiring lessons, stories, and mindsets to help you free up time and space to live a more productive life. Let our meaningful conversation begin. Hey guys, it's me again, Anne Christine, and welcome back to another video. I am so excited to share this video with you guys because after quite a while, ngayon lang ulit ako makikipag collab sa aking fellow content creators. And of course, for our safety, very unique nung naisip namin na way ng pag collab, we actually filmed separately. So, pagsasamahin ko lang yan sa pag edit ng video na to. And I hope you guys like the output. Today, we are going to talk about how to start a podcast. And since nanonood ka ngayon, definitely interested ka rin na mag-start ng sarili mong podcast. Well, ako personally, I don't have my own podcast yet. I'm planning to start it next year. So for now, let's get some help from our friends from... Good mornings with Nicole and Prax. Yeah, nag number two sila sa trending na podcast sa Spotify Philippines early last year. So kasagsaga ng pandemic, no? I think yun naman talaga yung time na and dami dami na ring uh, nakikinig ng podcast. Kasi, uh, you know, pandemic, nasa bahay tayo, we consume more contents, be it YouTube or Netflix, and yun nga, pati podcast. So isa sila sa mga pinapakinggan ko na local. Uh, podcasters. So without further ado, guys, I give you Nicole and Prax. Before anything else pala, this is scheduled to be uploaded ng September 8th and it's Nicole's birthday. So happy, happy birthday, Nicole. More, more. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, Nicole, and all the best sa iyong YouTube and podcast journey. And hello! It's nice to finally be here. Hi, I'm Nicole. And I am Prax. After watching this video, pwede ka na mag-start ng sarili mong podcast. Well, I'm sure we have quite a lot to talk about in terms of starting a podcast. Pero, simulan natin sa basic. Ano nga ba yung mga equipments na kailangan natin to start our own podcast? Hindi naman tayo makakagawa or makakapag-create ng walang gears, di ba? Dynamic mic ang gamitin mo para walang problema if merong umatching o kung sa gitna ng recording, eh merong mautot dyan. Itong mic na gamit namin is ever since pa nag-start kami ng podcast, ito na talagang gamit namin, Samsung Q2U. Tig isa kami ni Nicole, meron din kaming spare for it may guest. It's a dynamic mic na di maririnig yung aso sa labas. Ito na yung cheapest dynamic mic na nakita ko with great quality. It's about 4,500 pesos. Pero may tig 3,900 na rin sa shopping ngayon. So para naman sa mga fellow content creators natin na budgetarian or gusto lang talaga nilang mag-start small. Basta makapagsimula lang talaga. Basta makapag-upload lang talaga sila ng first episode na nila. Meron ba tayong cheaper or more affordable na alternative na pwedeng i-offer sa kanila? Merong mga affordable condenser mics, but those mics pick up background noise easily. Pero if tayo talaga sa budget, then good na yun. Or better yet, pwede na yung microphone dun sa earphones mo, pwedeng pang start yon. Second sa list of equipments na kailangan mo is earphones. Napaka-common sense, no? Essential siya para mag nyo yung volume nyo habang nagsasalita kayo. Pero most importantly, kailangan mo to kasi baka nasa gitna ka na ng sinishare mo. Hindi pa pala nakarecord yan. Nangyari na to sa amin a few times. And the last equipment is a recorder. Hindi na kami bumili ng recorder kasi dagdag gastos pa yun. Meron namang laptop. Audio hijack for Mac, yung ginagamit naming software to record our voices. Meron din naman Audacity para libre sa Windows and pwede rin siya sa Mac. Kulang na lang is press record and voila, you are now recording your very first podcast. Pero ba yung podcast, sobrang smooth ng flow. So what if meron akong masabi na, 
off pala or ayoko na biglang i-include, anong gagawin ko? Siyempre, pwede ka naman magkamali. Hindi naman to live eh. If nabulol ka or may secret ka na dapat hindi mo sabihin, you can edit it out. Kami, ini-edit namin siya using Final Cut Pro X. Madami din namang free options like iMovie for Mac users and Windows Movie Maker for Windows users. Pwede din LumaFusion sa iPhone and iPad lang mag edit I'm sure may mga magsasabi din dyan. Eh, hindi naman ako tiki eh. I'm not millennial. I'm not Gen Z. Hindi naman ako marang mag-edit. Chervalu, Eklavu. Which is ako dati. <laughs> exactly ako yon. Okay, guys, chill. Ako rin, ganyan. Pero nakaya ko, sobrang basic lang talaga. Promise. Nung mga first episodes nga namin, walang jingle sa simula at sa dulo. As in, sobrang simple lang. Record your conversation or your kung ano sasabihin mo and then edit it. I think isa sa dream yun, no, ng mga magpa-podcast, yung mapunta sila sa Spotify or mapakinggan sila sa Spotify. So, paano pala mapupunta sa Spotify yung podcast ko? Paano nila alam, di ba, na meron na akong episode? San ko to i-upload, di ba? An- saan ko to ipapalangalan dakan? Simple lang pala. Ang ginagamit namin is yung Anchor FM. Magsa-sign up ka lang doon and then upload mo lang yung una mong episode. Automatic siya na nagde-distribute ng podcast mo sa different podcast platforms. Nandiyan na yung Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Overcast, Google Podcasts. And pag makita mo na yung podcast mo doon sa mga platforms na yun, pwede mo nang ipagsigawan. Now available on Spotify! We would like to hear some tips from you guys. Paano nga ba magpaparami ng listeners? The simplest way to gain listeners is to share your work. Meron kang Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Post ka dun. Kasi ang unang listeners mo will be your friends and family. Noong nag-start kami, bilang lang sa kamay yung nakikinig sa amin. Si Mama, si Papa, si Ate, si Bunso, si Mingming at si Dogi. Ask yourself, sino ba yung target audience mo? Sino yung mga taong gusto mong makinig sa podcast mo? Are they students, young professionals, entrepreneurs, new parents, single ladies? <laughs> Ang dami kasing audiences at sa iba't ibang lugar mo lang sila mahanap. Huwag ka munang ma-stress sa paghahanap ng 1 million listeners. Darating din yun. The best thing to do is determine your target audience. Tapos, hanapin mo sila. San ba tumatambay itong mga to? As seasoned podcasters, can you tell us about your greatest achievement or parang yung milestone or highlight ng Good Mornings with Nicole and Prax? Sobrang highlight namin is nung nag number two trending kami sa Spotify. Finally, naka-enter kami sa top podcast charts sa Philippines. Kasi merong Facebook page news outlet na nagsulat tungkol sa amin. Recommended podcast daw kami for mental health. Actually, kasagsagan yun ng pandemic. And during that time, there was a rising trend of... Hindi naman rising trend, pero parang nag, dumadami yung nagkakaroon ng mental health problems during that time. And during that time, yung anxiety ko was becoming worse every single day. And doon ko naisip na, uy, mag-share kaya tayo ng something na makakatulong. Something na ginagawa ko personally to cope up with it. And surprisingly, nag-resonate yung message na yun. And overnight... Yung mga nakikinig sa amin, naging times 10. Since nag-create kayo ng mga podcasts, I'm pretty sure na nagko-consume din kayo ng mga podcasts. So, please tell us your podcast recommendations. Wow! Saan ba tayo magsisimula? Ang dami, pero i-trim down natin sa mga favorites natin, ha? <laughs> nakikinig na kami ng podcast way back 2014. And the podcast that made us fall in love with the medium is... The Tim Ferriss Show. Tim is a top-notch interviewer ng mga world-class people. Naalala ko pa, nasa van kami from El Nido going to Puerto Princesa to catch our flight back to Manila. Doon namin pinakinggan yung interview na to. Uh, Tim Ferriss interviewing Arnold Schwarzenegger. And after noon, hook na ako, sold na ako sa pakikinig ng podcast. Other episodes under The Tim Ferriss Show would be, maganda rin yung kay... 
Money Mustache and yung kay Tony Robbins. Sa local na podcast, ang daming magaganda ngayon, lalo na very supportive na si Spotify sa mga local creators. Nandiyan na si Sky Podcast, Hustle Share, Good Times with Mo, Wake Up with Jim and Sab, Halo Halo Show, Sleeping Pill with Inka Magne, Adulting with Joy Spring, Punchline with Alex Calieja, tapos nandiyan din yung Growing Up with Ben and Chris. Tumataas na ang demand for Filipino podcasts. Kailan ka magsisimula? What is next for Good Mornings with Nicole and Prax? Gusto namin malaman ano ba yung mga ilulook forward to namin or aabangan namin sa podcast nyo or kung may other plans pa kayo other than podcast. Two years ago, noong nagsimula kami, hobby lang siya. And marami sa inyo ang magsisimula as hobbyist. Para kasi siyang vlog pero audio form. Super baba lang ng investment kasi very minimal yung editing. Tapos, hindi siya matakaw sa oras. And then, slowly, nakapag-build kami ng audience. And now, we're ready for the next frontier, YouTube. May deadline ka ba sa work? Mag-alaga ng baby at walang oras mag-exercise. If pinagdadaanan mo ang mga problemang to, just check out our YouTube channel. Search for our names, Nicole and Prax. Before we end this video, I would like you to give a message to everyone aspiring to start their own podcast. Sigurado, lahat ng nag-click ng video na to, interested. So what will you tell them? I'm sure na pinapanood mo tong video kasi may inkling kang mag-start ng podcast mo. Podcasting is a rising medium na sobrang dami ng nakikinig pero sobrang konti ng creators na gumagawa. And you can be that creator for that audience na gahanap ng content. They are waiting for you. Kung talaga gusto mo mag-start ng podcast, start now. Because imperfect action is better than perfect in action. Thank you, Anne, for having us in your channel. Thank you so much for watching. Make every second count. Make every second count. I really like that. Actually, sinasabi nila yon sa lahat ng episodes nila pag iko-close na nila. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and sana marami kayong natutunan. Kung meron pang hindi na tackle, if you guys still have questions, don't hesitate to comment them down below and babalikan namin kayo nila Nicole and Prax. Don't forget to check their podcast out sa Spotify. It's Good Mornings with Nicole and Prax. Ang marirecommend ko sa inyo na episode is yung... Uh, why all productive people are lazy and I want to be a YouTuber. Yan. And na mention nga nila kanina na they have started their YouTube journey. So let's support them. Just search Nicole and Prax. Thank you so much for watching. Till my next one. Bye! We love hearing from you. Let us know what lessons you've learned. Send us a message on Instagram at Nicole and Prax. Or get productivity tips on our YouTube channel, Nicole and Prax. Thank you so much for listening and see you again on the next episode. Bye.